Hello my soccer universe for another Africa Cup of Nations update. I am wearing one of my favorite African shirts, the 2010 uh, Cote d'Ivoire shirt. Of course with the elephant here. I just loved it. The away jersey is also re really nice but the elephant puts it over the top for me. And of course there's an elephant here and there's only one star. Meanwhile they have two stars because they won in 2015. The um, after a cup of nations back when it was played in winter. I remember watching this in a mountain hotel where there was tons of snow outside. It's a different story. It was really, really, really hot when the Cote d'Ivoire took on South Africa in a surprisingly even matchup. South Africa proved to be um, quite a competition for uh, the Cote d'Ivoire. Also, let me say, jersey matchup, I mean, this was glorious. We had the Cote d'Ivoire in their orange, white and with green uh, socks, so like the flag, and South Africa in their green jerseys with yellow pants and yellow socks. I absolutely love this one. Lots of color on there. Uh, and the green is dark enough to not m blend into the um, grass. And if you've seen the South Africa jersey at the Women's World Cup, I made a re uh, at least I made the review. Uh, with all these green stripes, they are, they are one of the best uh, out there. The game itself, I mean, South Africa, really well or organized, tried to get something from the Cote d'Ivoire and had even early chances. Then it was a free kick by Pepe that kind of woke up the, um, the Cote d'Ivoire, where the free kick went onto the bar, and just a minute later, Koja, or Kojia gets a great chance that is uh, where he runs along to the goalkeeper takes a hard shot and it is saved um, so it ends nil nil the second half same picture South Africa a little bit more structured uh, tries to make life hard for the Cote d'Ivoire I mean the heat also played a factor I mean it was not this fast super fast paced game in any stretch of the uh, imagination uh, but keeps it tight, keeps it organized, not really having chances and then um, the ball falls uh, again to Kojia uh, after a nice pass from the left side right in front of the box and Kojia this time makes no mistakes, puts it between the legs of the goalkeeper into the net 1-0. Pepe has another free kick that, um, or Pepe I should say, Pepe is the Portuguese defender. Uh, that comes close. South Africa has a, a slight chance to equalize, but it ends with a 1 0 win for the Cote d'Ivoire, who are now sitting level with Morocco on top of Group D. Group E had two matches that were played later, which is usually better, although still the 7 o'clock um, Central European 8 o'clock kickoff uh, is already a tough one because it's still very, very hot. Tunisia had their work cut out with Angola and may I say Angola probably has one of some of the best kits at this Africa Cup of Nations. Um, all the pattering on there and the circles on the red but the red base is still there with the black pants and then this pattern on the sleeves. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love these kits. Uh, the Tunisia kits, with the kind of, you know, a little bit camouflage, white pattern. Yeah, it's white. That's what you would expect. But Angola really, really gave Tunisia trouble and had the better of the game most of the time. And the first time that Tunisia really became dangerous, uh, they got a penalty, which was... Uh, valid to give it because uh, it was a clear foul. Mzakni steps up and slots it home. And what I could see in the second half, this is where I saw more. Um, Tunisia had control, but uh, you know, as we say, it's, it's often cannot really find the breakthrough and Angola is dangerous on the counter. And it was a rather even, uh, almost messy matchup for Tunisia. Uh, I thought they might get, get, get away with it, but then Matthias in the 73rd makes kind of a weak shot, but the goalkeeper uh, lets it bounce and Jalma can slot it home 1-1. One, one. And after that, Angola actually, for a while, threatened to make a second one. But then the best chances actually fell to Tunisia, who had a pretty good chance to get a winner. It was not to be, and uh, Tunisia is probably the first big boy that drops points. Although we... You know, Tunisia was always the question, are they really up with the big boys? 
So yeah, uh, definitely a win for Angola, but um, this draw, but Angola really deserved it. And I say it again, glorious jerseys for Angola. I really loved that one. Um, in the evening game, I didn't see anything uh, of it. We had Mauritania in the first uh, match at the AFCON take on Mali and Mali pretty much uh, did what Mali does. Uh, Diaby gets 1-0, Marega makes it 2-0 and I think Mali has the best jerseys at this World Cup. I also like that uh, Mauritania in just dark green with a little, a little bit of red, as you would expect from a flag, uh, looked also really good. It was yellow against uh, green. I like the... Uh, I like the white Mali jersey too, slightly better with the huge eagle on front. Uh, Traoré, there are two Traores uh, in there. Uh, number two makes the 55th, uh, gets the third. Then Al Hassan, Al Hassan uh, gets the first goal for Mauritania, but Traoré uh, quickly thereafter makes it 4 1. And so Mali is the first leader in Group E. Today we have only two matches which are. Uh, late matches, we have Cameroon play Guinea-Bissau and Ghana against Benin. So uh, two pretty clear favorites, but you, hey, you never know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.